Hey, I'm Sarah, and on this channel, we share how to create realistic textures in nature and also document the process of what it's like to start up your own art business. Okay, we are back at the mural site. We have completed the entire underwater part. The last uh, four painting days took me here. We have scuba divers, we have our trout now, and the trout is gonna go onto a fishing hook that'll be on the onshore part. So we're gonna paint this next 15 feet today. So to start off, we really wanted a bright sunset uh, in this section. And this is to kind of celebrate all of our gorgeous sunsets, sunrises that we have on both sides of the Bruce Peninsula. So to do this gradient, I started just with the six inch roller. And that's because you really, rollers are so much easier than brushes to soak the wall in paint and really fill in all those little cracks. The primer helped with it, but you know, you gotta just do that. Now I'm going back in with a spot brush and kind of getting some of the deeper areas that the roller missed, just to make sure everything is all, you know, hunky-dory and ready to go. So then we went on and we're mixing kind of a lime green color. It looks intense on the wall right now, but it, it blends in, trust me. So then we're kind of going in a more, you know, yellow green color and none of these colors look really appealing when you mix them. You just gotta trust the process. And then, cause we're trying to get from purple to yellow and they're opposite colors. So you gotta do all the mi middle steps to try and get it in. So then we go in with orange and then we do a kind of brighter orange red at the very bottom. And it's almost like a whole little rainbow here in the top edge. So then I'm going through with the brush and I really kind of extend the yellow a bit um, into the orange and into the green. I thought it was a little bit too narrow there. So I'm kind of, after lunch, I came back and re-tweaked kind of how the sunset was gonna go. And uh, yeah, basically this is the sunset. So this is the next 15 feet. And now we're mixing the watercolor that we're gonna try and get. And this is gonna be fun because we're painting the surface of the water and I have some real time footage of that uh, to show you. But to do it first, I really wanted to chalk in where the fishing pole was gonna go, where the lighthouse was gonna go, where the shore at Lion's Head was gonna be. And then I kind of went in and rolled the water around that kind of knowledge of where other things were gonna go. Cause I didn't really wanna put bright blue where I'm gonna have rocks anyway, cause then I'll, they'll have to go back to that gray color. So now we're gonna start doing some brush work. We're gonna slow it down and get some real time footage in here for you. So this is what it looks like. I'm just doing some very shallow uh, horizontal lines at the top edge, and then they're getting thicker to about an inch wide as you go down to the bottom. So this is kind of how it's looking. So I started, I rolled out a medium color. Now we're adding some darker areas. Then we're also gonna go back in and add some highlight lighter areas onto the waves. So it's kind of nice just starting in the middle because you know, then all of the roller kind of uh, stuff is done. The whole wall is filled in, mostly one tone. And then you kind of just add your dark and lights on top of that one medium color. So this is a lot easier than if you started with a really light color or a dark color. Just start in the middle and then work your way out from there as you make your waves. So yeah, so you can kind of see how I'm making a wider line at the bottom. And this process took probably about three, four hours to do all of this water here. Uh, next time I would paint, you know, water like this, I could probably do it a lot faster, but there's a lot of playing and experimenting. I haven't done too, too many murals under my belt and um, concrete's definitely a new surface to paint on for me. So there's definitely a lot of learning curves in here. So take your time, don't feel bad if you're uh, painting a mural about you know, going back and repainting over some stuff. That's totally fine. It's all in the learning curve of the process. So now we're gonna go and speed it back up here. You can see the rest of the water uh, really come together. And I just basically started at the left side and worked my way to the right side, all doing the top edge first. So you can kind of see I'm mostly sticking to the darker color. Now we're gonna go back in and add a few of the highlight colors. 
but I'm really just kind of getting the whole top edge in so you can be consistent with the horizon line. Then I'm adding some of the rocks that are going to be underwater near the lighthouse. Then we're getting into some of the bigger waves that are closer to uh, us, like the audience. Um, so they're the closer waves that are located at the bottom. And I really wasn't sure what I was going to do for the rocks as they transition to on land to the one um, part on the right there. But uh, yeah, they kind of, I added a bit of brown to them and a bit of lighter blue. And we're going to go over them when we paint the rocks in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Now we're just using some of the green colors that I had mixed uh, to kind of really block in the background of the lion's head, uh, you know, trail and stuff. So I wanted to get this locked in just in case it rained overnight. So really quick at the end of the day, we're just putting that in. We have a lot of uh, blue tone for the really far away shoreline. And then for this closer one, we have a really nice warm green. So it kind of reflects the sunset uh, colors there. And we're gonna paint the rocks in a future video that are you know, the rock face on that uh, far away cliff. All right, and this is going to conclude our video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. We are going to end with some clips from next week's video where we continue painting the mural. So I hope you enjoy this sneak peek footage and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the video next week. We'll see you soon.